I do voices. Yes! Bedtime stories with Roger. Good evening, children. It's Uncle Roger with another bedtime story. Are you tucked up in bed? Are you cuddling Teddy? Have you got a nice cup of cocoa? Good. Then let's begin. This one's called Timmy, Mummy, and the Beggar. <laughs> it's another good one. Once upon a time, Mummy needed to go to the shops to pick up some fresh produce for dinner. Timmy didn't like going to the shops because he liked to play on his video games for hours upon hours in his bedroom. After finishing his homework, of course. Timmy, said Mummy, we need to get some things from the shops. Maybe that ugly beggar is by the door again. You like to see the beggar. Okay, Bobby, Timmy said. He liked to stare at the ugly beggar and get just close enough as to get a small whiff of his hideous body odor. He also liked to point and remind the beggar that he didn't have many teeth and the ones he had were coated in a brown, treacly substance. Mummy parked her Range Rover in the disabled parking bay but only because she was going to be two minutes. And we all know that's perfectly acceptable. Sure enough, the beggar was sitting outside the shop door, angrily demanding money from the shoppers as they passed by. As Timmy and Mummy approached, the beggar's eyes met Timmy's eyes, and with an evil snarl, he demanded spare change from poor little Timmy, who of course wasn't poor at all. In fact, he was filthy rich for a nine-year-old. Mummy swung her Gucci handbag at the beggar's hideous face, knocking out Oof. his remaining three teeth and causing a small laceration Ooh, above his eye. left eyebrow. All in self-defense, of course. Timmy laughed and went to pick up one of his teeth from the urine and cigarette butt-infested floor and foolishly put it in his mouth and said, Look, Mummy, I'm a beggar. No, Timmy, screamed Mummy. You'll catch something. We'll have to buy some Listerine now. In a rage, the beggar stood up, stumbling under his drunken stupor, and followed <coughs> all three Timmy's and Mummy's into the shop, because he was so intoxicated with his special mix of urine and Stella Artois. As Mummy calmly selected what she needed from the shelves, she'd completely forgotten about the altercation with the beggar. She didn't think for a minute he'd follow her into the store. As she was checking out the fillet steak from the number one range, she smelled a terrible odor and thought the steak was off. But she then realized it wasn't the steak at all. It was the beggar. He'd snuck up behind her and was about to give her what for when the store security guard fired his taser into the beggar's back. No warning at all. Immediately, the beggar fell into the chiller cabinet, knocking over boxes of Goodfellas pizzas as he fell to the floor and onto his face. The security guard called for backup and a shopping cart, and when it arrived, they manhandled the beggar into the cart and pushed him out of the store and back to where he belonged. Under the bridge by the canal. The end. Now, I don't want you to think about the beggar. I don't want you to think about his hideous mouth and ghastly odor. And I don't want you to think about his back being sizzled by the 50,000 volts. I want you to sleep well. Next week's story is titled, The Surgeon, The Patient, and The Scalpel. Until next time, children, good night. Immediately, the beggar fell into the chiller cabinet, knocking over boxes of Goodfellas pizzas as he fell to the floor. <laughs> the security card... her <laughs> card. Bedtime stories with Roger. I do voices. Yeah!